All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to a Z2 Swiss round tournament match. Uh, we have Cool in the Gank versus Choke Me, I Like It. Um, both these guys are what? They're one and one? Um, yeah, no, this is an 0 and 2 match, I think. They're 0 and 2? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so we'll be underway just in a moment. I gave him the go-ahead, so we're going to be starting. All right, gotta kill, uh, gotta kill FC. So I, I guess we'll start out the same way I start most of the matches. Uh, anybody new, you want to explain the seeds that these guys are going to be playing and um, what they might be looking for, or sorry, sure. the flags. Sorry, that's what I mean. The flags, yes. So, uh, basic here is that uh, they've got to place the six gems in the six palaces, and then uh, to open up the grand palace and defeat Thunderbird and Dark Link in order to uh, get the Triforce of Courage. Um, so, what they're going to be looking for here. In the overworld is uh, in the western continent was where they start there are uh, five item caves a grass tile three palaces and, and a couple other locations of interest and towns so they're gonna be looking for those things first of all trying to get themselves uh, built up just a little bit at least so they can begin to handle a palace or uh, get the keys to another location where they can find the tools that they need The main thing they'll be looking for is the fairy spell or magic key to begin with. Um, some other goodies that are going to be important at another point, but for now, that's those are the biggest things. I've got them at 108, 109. Uh, 112, 113, so Good enough for me. Yeah. Nah, one second off. That's fine. No, they. Well, uh, did we uh, see a grass tile? Shoot. Uh, all I saw was a Parappa pass um, the other okay. side of it. Yeah, I've just seen him in some random encounters, I think. Uh, let's see. Choke's already up to life three. That's, I like that move. Taking levels. He's yeah, trying to get yeah. some experience off this orange one. And cool in the gank went with um, magic, so that's also a good move. Yep. Yeah, almost certainly magic two is going to be a really good move. <laughs> so there's there's not really a necessary reason to put it off for very long. Yeah, it, especially if they find fairy early on and you're going to want to cast that as much as you can. Right, and I think the big thing is. Um, the first thing you usually want to do with the barrier jump spell, if you get that instead, is, is go get downstab. So, sometimes you can't cast jump with magic 1, but you can almost always do it with magic 2. Same with fairy. So it looks like we get a free pass up here to the north. Yeah, that's good. Um, usually... Have to take cave away town here, yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna have to do Bagu, they're not gonna have to do Parappa, it's just walk around the edge. Yeah, I mean, this is the town of Bruto. Uh, cool in the Gang's just gonna take a refill here. He needs the trophy in order to get the spell out of this town. And he's gonna continue looking for caves with cool items. We got a palace here. Um, palace one, in fact. Uh, yeah, he can. He can decide to try to get into palace one or not. Um, he has so much stuff left to find that he can probably put that off a little bit. Yeah, you're not going to be required to go into a palace until you find the fairy spell or the any key. So uh, since either one of these guys have found that, 
Uh, Palace One's definitely not going to have the next progression item. Yeah, that's right. It, it won't have the next progression item. Maybe the next progression item isn't that critical for the rest of the game, and maybe only gets them in the P1. But... Um, doing P1 right now means you'd probably have to do some, uh, do some extra rooms to get extra keys, and that would just eat up time. Time be better spent finding the items. We get the old in-out going down on uh, Cool in the Gank, trying to find Hammer Cave and Death Mountain. Yeah, we're gonna do a really cool encounter there with a ton of lag and some enemies. Yeah, I always love it when the the game lags like that and you get the 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 bar at the top shifts because it's just not <laughs> yeah. loading correctly. So Raru, this will be our uh, first spell of the game if I'm been paying attention. Uh, yeah, we'll be. They found the back end of Saria so far in Rushko that I've seen. And we got a uh, trophy cave here for Cool in the Gank. Which is only going to yield him a uh, magic jar. Yeah, but as we often say, the first magic jar is a, a really big item for casting spells. Yeah, I always love finding some magic jars. If I find two or three, I can put off getting magic levels and really put it into life and attack. Mm-hmm. And of course those magic jars come into play when they get to, uh, old, or new Kasuto. Yes, the, the magic container is still block an item in new Kasuto. Originally, you had to have seven magic containers in order to get the eighth. But now it's shuffled, and you only need somewhere between 5 and 7 to get the mystery item. Yeah, soon enough we're going to need the magic containers just to get spells, even. I don't remember what round that starts in, though. That's, I think that might only be in the, in the semi-finals and the finals. When that happens, then the spells are, are blocked each town in the gives one spell, and the spell on the list that it gives, you know, there's top of the list is one, bottom of the list is eight, and that's how many containers you'll need in order to be able to learn that spell. Just like in the original game. So it looks like uh, Cool's trying to grind this uh, Iron Knuckle, get some levels here at the start of uh, P4. Yes, uh, that is not P1. <laughs> That's not that's not the P1 we saw before, but P1 and P4 have the same pillars, and in this case, they seem to have a similar color. Yeah, if you've missed the MOA, then it, you're at a loss. Except, of course, when you hit the statue and get an Iron Knuckle or a Jar out of it. Right. We got a P-Bay Cave. Yes, yeah, originally the home of a 200-point P-Bag, now included in the item shuffle. Another magic jar. Uh, another magic jar, not as nearly as hype as the, the first one. Yeah, now it's just... It's icing on the cake, but it's not what you want. Right now they're looking for the raft and or the glove to really make some progress. And based on what we've been seeing in the tournament, um, I wouldn't be so sad to find a spell item either. No. No, the spell items, there's three of them, the trophy, the medicine, and the kidnapped child, have all been really important. Yeah, that was, that was my race last night, was the uh, water of life. Let's see, so cool and the gang has found the front end of Saria. Yeah, so we get our second spell and something new. probably really hoping for jump or fairy at this point to be able to get a uh, downstab from Mito. And he gets shield instead. Oh, so we got, got life. Grass tile. We got life and shield. Yeah. Yeah, so cool in the gang's gonna be heading out here right toward a, a grass tile to get another item for free.
And uh, it looks like Choke Me found the other side of Death Mountain. Yep, and uh, boots for cool in the gank. That'll be a little bit nice. I don't think that they're going to open up much form right now, except maybe an, an easier Death Mountain, which I'm sure is uh, starting to come into mind a little bit more as he clears out locations and doesn't get something that's going to help him. Yeah, we've seen both spell items, and they're not fairies, so if they're going to need to get into a palace, it's going to be the Any Key. Um, the only cave that we haven't seen is Medicine Cave. Yeah, cool and the gang's in it right now. So if this isn't Raph, then Death Mountain is definitely the play that we need. I guess Raft or Hammer, and sure enough. It's the Raft. So, Queen the Gang can... He can probably sail off now if he wants. But he has not located Ferraru yet. Yeah, he's missing a, a few places, and I'm sure he wants to have Downstab before heading out. Oh, and I, I have overlooked a cave, and it is a precious item. We got a magic container cave there for Choke Me. It had the glove in it. Well, all right. And it's not far from where Cool is, which... Yeah, and <laughs> they just did an overworld high five. So another fast glove seed. Yep. They, they have a glove, but that, again, it's one of the outright, almost always outright required items. Like 99% of the time, that's going to be required. But they still don't have an, an avenue to get into palaces easily. You know, I'll say it again, I missed what was on the grass tile. Was it just a, uh, a junk item? Grass tile? It was boots. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Okay. I was thinking it was a one-up from the size of it, but yeah, boots make sense. <laughs> Uh, speaking of junk items, in case people don't know, there are four junk items with these flag sets. You got the uh, the 500 P-Bag for the candle, which early on is not really junk, but when you're really looking for stuff at the end, you definitely don't want to find that one. Um, and then three shuffled P-Bag caves, one on the west and two on the east. Choke picking up the shield magic. Cool Gang has uh, located Jump Cave and he's moving on. Not much of a use for something like that anymore. Yeah, all he's missing is uh, Trophy Cave and Raru. Jokes in the P-Bag Cave, looking to get an attack level before he moves on. Perhaps I overlooked him not going here, but I believe this was just a magic container. Yes. Yes it is. But this will be his first one, so he's not going to be too upset about that one. Have you happened to check catch what the other palace is? We got one and four mm, and... No, I didn't. Okay. I believe it was two or five, but don't quote me on that. More knowledge than I have, so that's good. This is one of the best uses of the boots here on the west, is to get down on that water and avoid any encounters from spawning. Yeah, that's terrific. You won't be able to get... Um... You won't be able to see as much of the terrain you're trying to explore, but then again, you're going at a much faster speed and you're not getting any encounters. 
So here's Choke in Medicine Cave. Oh, rough graveyard encounters. Am I not correct in thinking that it's always faster to exit the graveyard encounters going left? I thought it was faster at every screen. No, it's faster at every screen go right, isn't it? Well, I don't know that you start in the center on the graveyard, do you? I don't know, I always go left. I go left because, I guess, one for habit, but two because you get to go downhill. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing for me. Yeah. Especially if you have some beam swords just to knock some of those aches out of the air. Right. So I don't know if Choke's going to try to grind out this level, or if he's just going to head to the raft spot, but I think he's pretty much done here, other than uh, fully exploring Death Mountain. Yeah, he doesn't need to take this level, and he's going to game over. So no, he's not going to grind the level out. <laughs> we'll see where he goes. Yeah, he was Cold pretty close to it, but... Yeah, Cold Gang's in the hard cave, he's going to pick up the Tutti Flute. If he can find a 500 bag on the East Continent real early, he can rack up whatever level he was working on anyways. Oh yeah, that'll be much easier than whatever the alternative was here. So other than the rock block in Death Mountain, um, these guys are fully able to explore the overworld. Yeah, it's been a pretty generous overworld. They can walk all over the place, but it also it is deeply uh, entrenched with forests, making it a little slower to navigate, more difficult to navigate the random encounters. They spawn right next to you in a forest. Yeah, forests and graveyards. Ooh, looking for the raft, the dock. The look of it and as oh, game over. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right honest, in. I wasn't paying too much uh, attention. I don't know where that spot is. No, I don't know either. He seems to be looking toward the northeast corner for it. And it looks like Choke's gonna go ahead and try to take on Palace One without Farrier. Um, or Magical Key or Downstab, as this is proving to. Give him a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it's not a terrible decision, except whenever you do come across those blue iron knuckles. But with the extra key set flag on, um, one's not a terrible decision. There's lots of keys. More keys than yeah. doors, I believe. He could get something important out of here. Well, not immediately important, probably, but he could. Yeah, I think ideally for him would be a spell item, given that they have the raft in the glove. And have a key for this door, though. Cool, the gang arrives on the eastern continent, immediately spots a desert tile, new Kasudo, with six magic containers, so he has a good chance of getting this item here. And a palace just off to the right, and the uh, old lady using uh, internet speak there, she says, you deserve my help with just a you. Yeah, you happen to understand why that happens? Why she loses the first two letters sometimes? Um, I think it's... I don't know, actually. I remember, uh, this was a, one of the issues when Dig Shake was working on the text changes that it was moving that particular thing around. The doctor again is back to normal usually. Okay. Temporary issue then. It's not. Yeah, it's not just it's not her really either. Right. Oh, okay. Um, the Hior lady does it too in that same town. But I've only noticed it in that town. Well, alright. <laughs> the mysteries. So, Sometimes it's just. <laughs> <laughs> this is a miracle this thing works at all. Could you imagine? I mean, 
So, you know, in this game, you've got glitches that are really weird, like the red jar disappearing in the Valley of Death in the original game, which is caused when... Uh, one way to do it is to get a forced... or a, a random counter from a large enemy, and then to not... and then to go into the forced Wilson fence encounter, but exit left without scrolling the screen, and then when you go to get the red jar from the Valley of Death spot, it just won't be there. That's a really... that's a pretty complicated glitch setup for a non-beneficial glitch. Could you imagine just having all those... Yeah, somebody was telling me things. about a, a key despawn too, a key door in Palace yes. 3 if you get the jar. Yeah. Or rather, spawn the jar. Mm-hmm. So... This game is interesting. So Choke decided to bail on P1. Yeah, after he couldn't get through that door, he just left. The funny thing is, is a really good sign that um, he could get there without spending one key just to see the room. He had a pretty good chance to be able to at least get a key out of the place in order to recover that item, but I think he correctly judged that whatever's in there is probably not critical with the time and that he'll be back. Now to cool in the gang, just have to fight his way out of a desert towel, and he just located two more. No, maybe just one more. Oh! Yeah, here comes the 500 bags. Yeah, so, Cool Gang just found a desert towel. So this gamble could pay off for Choke if we end up needing a spell item and he finds one in here. But um, otherwise, I think Cool and the gang's making the better play, uh, finding out which spells he can get on the east. Yeah, definitely. There are three spells he can locate here. And four, he found without... the kid in uh, oh, New the Casino. Four. All four. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll find some oh. vital information. And That's... I was wrong, there goes another glitch. <laughs> so, there you go. Reflect magic, one of the important spells. One thing that we don't know yet is fire, what it's tied to. And if it's spell, he could have gotten both items out of Nukasudo. But you really don't know that until you just use it. Right. And he does, and it's spell. Oh. Oh, he's not too far from Luke Sudo. Yeah, we'll see if he backtracks or if he comes back later. Oh, yeah. he might be going back right now. Yeah, he might go back and check it. I don't know that right now it's of terrible importance to him. He has a glove, a raft, he obviously is here, uh, boots, a recorder. There's not a whole lot of items he needs at the moment, and if he can get the information of does he even need anything by going to towns and checking their spells, he might just say, well, I don't need to go all the way back to there. Boot block hammer cave? Yeah. Nice. Choke me in there now. Thunder Town has the jump spell. Downstab's now open. Yeah. Yeah, it is useful for that. And again, through some other spots in the game, makes it a little easier to navigate. Yeah, especially if you want some of those uh, 500p bags in the traps. Oh, yeah. And absolutely vital when you're in uh, Great Palace, getting through some of those waffle rooms. Oof. Cool, just scraping by there. Hey! Well, you know, Choke can uh, take a level here if he wants, take a couple. Oh, nope, just kidding. There's only 200. Dig Shake, uh, very astutely pointing out, not worth. Well. Yeah, that was a huge choke. gamble that did not pay off, and now he's lost a lot of exploration ground. Yeah, and he seems to kind of have lost, um... A little bit of purpose here, as 
he's walking out of here in, in order to do what? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, unless he's trying to save the XP, but at this level, this early on, you just gotta eat it and go. Yeah. He doesn't have the hammer, he's not going to get into Spectacle Rock. Hold the gank, meanwhile, he's getting upstab. Not okay. gonna take any chances. He'll also be able to swing by and drop off the kid, so I mean. If you're here, get up stab. It's not worth it going out of the way this early. No, you don't wanna. There's not really a point of skipping up stab when you're right. When you're coming here this early. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was pointing out the other day the only people who skip up stab are the people who haven't gotten trolled in a great palace fight yet. <laughs> And the kid turns into fairy magic. Yeah, this is so, a great progress by Cool. Yes, but he they will need to locate a trophy or um, medicine in order to locate the thunder spell. So this just means that Cool and the Gank will, or Choke. No, who is who are we talking about here? Cool and the Gang. Cool and the Gang will have to keep uh, looking for items. He won't be able to just jump right into palaces right away without having to make a decision whether to dig out the item or not. Yeah, exactly. He, But he's now available to go into palaces with that fairy spell in hand. Indeed. But I think even before he does that, he'll probably want to get downstab. And so, it'd be useful for him to find at least the medicine before he goes back to get downstab. I think you'll be locating Maze Island soon. Good hope. Oh, nice graveyard up here. Wow. They just buried everybody up here and moved out. Yep, on the other side of the desert too. So whatever Choke was working towards, he's, uh, he lost that XP. Yeah, he's gonna have to think of something else to do. It's not... For many people, I think that it's not an ideal situation to have to head east without downstab. You don't know how tough the encounters are gonna be that you're gonna run into. Yeah, his choices but... are basically go into the palaces and hope for one of those spell items. Which leads to jump or fairy, which we know they won't. Right. Or just wagons east and go. <laughs> yep. Same thing Cool did. Step in, realize you don't have a way to get up there and head out. Did Cool walk by the dock? Not the dock, the bridge to Maze Island? Um, I didn't see it, but I wasn't paying that close attention. He just went top to bottom. And didn't enter Maze Island. Now, I saw, there was a bit of a... He came down there, those two roads that both ran into the coast. He passed it, that's what I thought. So I guess he just wants to find this stuff still. Yeah, I expected him to make his way towards Darunia. Or, sorry, uh, Nukasudo. Oh, yeah. Now that he knows that fire is spell. And Choke turns in his magic containers to get a kid. Yeah, there's one of those 500 bags we're talking about for cooling the gang. Gets him an easy attack for. Here come more caves. We haven't seen the pea bag caves yet, so I expect we'll be seeing them. Here's the first one. This is the nasty one. Oh, and he's got the red eyeball. He, yeah, goes straight for the fairy spell to navigate around that red eyeball who's guarding the step. Those things hit hard. They would damn near one-shot him. So Choke tried the fire spell, but he didn't see anything happen. 
and he sure enough is going to go right. Oh, nice. So yeah, we'll get to see cast this. it twice. Yeah, fairy is not cheap. Magic key? A heart container for choke inside of uh, Belltown's building. And choke or cool gang picked up the magical key from this pee bag cave. Was it not the cross? No, it was the cross. No, it was the cross. It okay. Was the cross. I'm an idiot. No, it's okay. I just making sure I saw the same thing because no, no, yeah, I forgot what I'd seen. Yeah, it was definitely the cross. He's got his pulled up now. Yeah, no easy game here. So thinking, thinking. Yeah. I wonder if he's uh, realized yet. That uh, the spell that he could go in the spell town. That's really occurred him. So three or six. I think we already seen this one though. Yeah. And is that cool again? Head back to Maze Island. So I, he's gonna do Maze Island before thinking about spell town anymore. Yeah, it's two quick items, and if you can find the water alive and streamline Mito. See, I, th I think Cold Gang's a little lost here. He's going back into that graveyard. And now he realizes that he's been here. He's trying to... It's a lot easier to feel lost when at least you have water to walk on. So, we find out that the flute is useless. <laughs> and he plays it. He plays it and then sees the bad news. Oh. Hmm. Ah, the other pee bag cave. Cool is on his last life here, but he shouldn't have much problem at this point getting the item. Yeah, Choke took the uh, the quick up A to go get the down stab. That's a good move too. As soon as he found the jump spell. Mito's right by the dock. There's not going to be much of a loss in this. Probably. Yeah, actually, you, you point that out. He didn't up A. He just took the, the dock back. Nice. And now this time, there's a magical key. Yeah, other than the palaces, this is a pretty quick seed so far. Right. So even so, still, uh, I think Cool and the Gank is. What's he thinking about? Do you think you think he's gonna go do one, four, and two or five right now? If I were him, I would go out to Maze Island. He knows yeah, he I... needs those those items, and it's one of the easiest overworlds to get. It is. They're definitely easy spots to get. And he does only need one item. Besides, you know, whatever comfort uh, he needs in heart containers. Okay, he is heading back south. And there's Maze Island. Oh, wait, no, never mind, he's on the west. Now yeah, they're just a little bit of a drive-by on each other there, and, um... He's gonna get down to and then head back, I would think. Yeah, that's that's fine move. Yeah. It's definitely what I'd expect, and you you do want downstab before taking on palaces one, four, and two or five. I mean they have the gloves, so three and six aren't locked out either. Right. Um, yeah, they can do anything. Yeah, as soon as he finds fairy, then it's free game, all the palaces. Which cool's already at? He's got everything he needs. So Nobu here for choke. I 
I don't quite remember which one this one is, but it's either fairy or reflect. Cool's jumping back up to take that river again. Yeah, the river gets road. All the way across. But he's looking for... Kind of looked around for a minute. I think maybe he... Has he not located one of the houses? Uh, I've only seen that one up at the north. There's... Oh, well, there's the one by the dock. Okay, then yeah, he's, he's on the boat. Then what's he looking for? Because the other one is right up by that river. As soon as you walk up there. Yeah, and we've seen the entrance to the Valley Dev. Yep. Yeah, so we've seen them all. Uh, Maze Island. I haven't seen the dock personally, but Dig said it was there, so. Yeah, we'll trust Dig. Oh, there it is. There, yeah. Is he missing a town? No. Okay, he's been to no. all four. No, this is a mystery move. This so I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what he's thinking right now. Yeah, all he's missing is the uh, the two Maze Island for Overworld, and he's done. Yeah. Well, at Bouncing least without the hammer. Heads. Right. That'd be the last thing I'd want to see at this point. Oh, absolutely. That one's just a fetch quest. Okay. He's gonna do the, the hunt on Maze Island. Choke's gonna pick up the magical key, just making everything that much easier. Yeah, Choke just needs to swing through Darunia now. That's palace too. Here's our first item. <laughs> Commentator's item curse. To see. Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh, and the other item. <laughs> Red jar. Close enough. <laughs> Well, obvious, I've, it's obvious at this point, the, the spell items in P5. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, that's a great position for a great palace, though, just be able to swing across the docks and walk across the water after an up A. Yeah. And we got Cool heading into... Five? Two? Oh, it's two. Okay. Choke has not picked up. Ooh, he the skipped upstab. the upstab. Yeah. Bold move. Let's see if it pays off, Cotton. Yeah, I think that uh, if he doesn't get it, then really good chance that he'll be okay. Um, but he has he knows one thing at this point, and that he's gone into Hammer Cave and gotten nothing out of it. Yeah, it's so, a it's a very slim chance to be upstab blocked. Yep, and it's a good way to save thirty seconds for him right now. But he's gonna get it. He's just wanting to go left. He's going left to right, right to left, whatever. Probably wanted to get the magic refill on the way out if he doesn't know the jump. And he didn't know he was going to get fairy. Right. So if you're cool, you basically have to dig out this item. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna need to do this. So... I think the... The biggest part of his strategy now is to have to... He wants to dig out the palaces in the... 
in the fastest way possible. So he's here, which makes this fast-ish. But after this, he's he has a choice. Does yeah. he want to jump into... So he's all house? out on uh, Maze Island, right? Right. I say you up A and you go to 1. Yeah, he could definitely do that. He can do that, or he could try to go to 3, which is one of the other small palaces where you're usually very quick to find the item. But I think that you're right, that up A after this to 1 and 4, probably... Yeah, those sound like moves. great palaces to go into. Yeah, because there's a chance you'll just run into the item room anyway in 4, looking for a boss. Helmet head. So we got 3 or 6 in the Valley of Death. And of course right. we don't know because nobody's gone past the um, opening room. Yeah. I got When it comes to knowing 3 or 6, I definitely... I kind of want to know. But I'm not really... Certain how much time it's worth spending to figure that out sometimes. Yeah, unless I'm committed to going in, there's no need to know immediately. Yeah, jokes. Oh, they're not so cool. Oh, God. <laughs> the downstab dangers. Now, I don't know if he can make it back across. Oof. Well, in any case, he'll be respawning at the door. Yeah, it's fine. He got the uh, the little digger. Yeah. Yeah, so he wanted to get that. He should have just stayed and farmed that dripper anyways. It was the ropes. Yeah, for the 6 XP or whatever yeah. that he needed. Yeah. But, but he's he leaving gets... here with uh, attack 5, so... Yeah. Did he, did he find the item in that place? Uh, he did not. Oh, no, he turned around and left. Hmm. It's such a far off place too, it's a it's a shame you'll have to go all the way back. Yeah, it's a far off place, and if it did have the trophy or the medicine, then he could have come back and, and checked on one of those while he was here. All right, welcome everybody from Angry Larry's channel. Um, so, we've got a pretty nice and generous seed here for the most part. Um, on the Western continent, these guys were both able to locate the boots, the gloves, the recorder, uh, a couple magic containers. And they had to come east in order to get the fairy spell and eventually also locate the magic key and the cross, so they, they've got almost everything. Um, what they need right now is to locate a thunder spell. That's about it. And they've, between the two of them, about full clear the overworld. So, no one's done a palace yet? Or actually, a uh, cool just finished palace, too. That's correct. And besides the palace items to dig out, there's only Spectacle Rock. In which they just found the, or rather, Cool's the only one with the hammer he found it on Maze Island. Right. So right now, uh, cool, Cool's a little bit ahead. Choke, part of what's put him behind so far is... He's gone to the Hammer Cave, and the Hammer Cave was, um, oh, it was a 200 pea bag. And that wasn't great. Yeah, it's no, also... that was, uh, very, very disappointing to find after such a long trek in there. Um, thankfully he had the boots and it wasn't terrible, but... Yeah. Yep, and he spent a little time in Palace 1, not very long, but he decided to bail on it. Whereas Cool Nagank has not looked beyond the first room of any palace until uh, doing Palace 2 just a minute or two ago. Yeah, now he's in 3. Yeah, which is great. It's a great place to be. I didn't get to see where it was. I'm assuming this is the one next to the raft spot. 
not the I, one in the valley. Be, it might actually be one in the north, and I might have been completely wrong about Palace five, 2 or 5 being there. Oh, okay. I, if, if 3 is by Palace 4, then it makes a lot of sense for him to be here. Part of my my guess earlier was that my wingman he was farming an iron knuckle. Bullshit. I would have expected to do it in, be mine. in three or six and not in four. Choke wants to thank you for that follow. <laughs> so this is a quick uh, three, so hopefully he turns around for the item. Yeah, I would think that at this point they're it's just such a small palace. So is this choke back in one? Is that what I'm seeing? No, he went to two. Yeah. He did. Yeah. We've seen this before. And palace three down. Choke's just gonna Run that gem right in there, not worry about the XP. I think uh, he has a couple choices, obviously. He's gonna go for the. Yeah. Well, in this situation, he's gonna head for the raft room now. So maybe he won't take that level at all. Yeah, I think after the scare in, Pal in P2, he doesn't want to risk it again. Iron Knuckle backing up to the wall, making it a little bit of a scary proposition to jump over him. Ugh. Yeah, it's always nicer when you come in the other way and he just walks into the pit. But right. I think he might <laughs> need a pull out jump. Yeah, that'd be a safe play. Or just get bounced over him before it gets all the way. Oh, that's <laughs> that's exactly what you have to worry about. <laughs> So it looks like Choke's going for the item in two. I like this play. Yeah, this is this is what Cool probably should have done too. <laughs> I knew exactly what was coming with that. It's like, oh, oh don't do it. <laughs> These blue iron knuckles are no joke. Yeah, and and choke's gone down this this dead end to a key room. So oh, he's gotta turn around. So it looks like we're going to get cool with the first item find of these two palaces. He's passed over that level. Magic container. Wow. All eight jars. And he goes in right and burns the gym. Or what was left of the gym. Yeah, he did not want to take the level. I think he just wants to hang on to his easier XP manipulation. We'll see if he makes a play towards Death Mountain now. Yeah, uh... It'll, it'll be a little bit different for him. Gym before looking for the item. Yes. Yeah, this Death Mountain would be a little bit better for him than it was for Choke, since he'll be able to uh, also check Spectacle Rock while there. Been an out business here. You can see the rock, and he's gonna bail. Is that chamber with the spectacle rock only have one or two caves leading to it? I, I 
looked away. I was looking at Choke. Yeah. I saw him heading towards the last left at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just wants to. Now that you saw that the rock was in a kind of a crummy spot, he's just gonna head on out. So more bad luck. Yeah, heart container in two. I mean, really, everything, they're just gonna get nothing until they go to Palace 5. <laughs> you know, that's just... That's You're just committed guessing. to that spell item in 5. I'm telling you, it's gonna be 5. <laughs> Alright, so what's your call? Is it going to be the water or the trophy? Well, we have two spell items to get, so... Yeah. The, the, the oh, so you're saying with the thunder spell is going to lead to... Um, let's say it's the medicine. Trophy and spectacle rock leads the spell. That's what my, I'm calling on that one. Yeah, both are completely possible, so... But, since it is Thunder, I wouldn't let it put a hamper on uh, my finishing dungeons right now. I'd just knock out as much as I could. Yep. Alright, yeah, so Cool in the Gang has worked up the experience to get his attack level out of P1. Yeah, we'll see if he turns around here and goes for the item. Uh, he can- I think if he- Knows what he's doing, he'll probably go out through the front and then back in, get there faster. I think that's the fastest way to the item room. I think Choke's just a couple rooms away from Helmet Head. Good. And there he goes. Got a couple of tiles away and then turned around. Oh, nope. Stick. It's the wrong one. Oh, yep. Yeah. The psych out room. Let's go left right here, and go to the item room. Yeah, so it was behind those key doors that Choke found earlier. I guess we have this room down here, too. We haven't seen. Um... Okay. Cool, oh, the gank, uh, forgot to which way to go in the house one there for just a moment. Joke's gotta go through the, the fun parts of P2. Yeah, it's, this this is the next room for Helmet Head. Yep. Oh! Downstab. The dangers of downstab. Yeah, he's not gonna risk it this time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you don't give that one up twice. <laughs> These spawned the dripper. That's cool. Yeah, this is a room I expected from the elevator. He needs to be a little bit careful here, he's on his last life. Yeah, and the fireballs from Helmet Head's face are very potent. Oh, good. Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, God! Why? Let's see how well he remembers how to get back. In this situation, like, oh crap. <laughs> Let me try to remember what not to do this time. No, what did... did that happen? Raid is, uh, cool, picked up the oh, item. It did! Nah, it did. What was the item in one? The question for everyone. <laughs> I don't think anybody saw it. Can one of the 49 people here answer that question? It had to be the water. Yeah, it must have been. It has to be the water. Sports FA is here. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Alright, so this is cross fingers time for Cool in the Gank. We'll see if you're at least half right that this is the thunder. I don't want to be. Oh, 
it is. All right. Man, that side relief. Yeah. <laughs> so I can stop digging in palaces now. Well, I think probably the biggest side of all of that is um, knowing that he doesn't have to go to Death Mountain. He didn't even go to the Hammer Cave, so, you know, he had, on his mind, two spots. That it could have been in Death Mountain for the Thunder Spell. That was a very real possibility for him, and, and when it comes to Death Mountain, it's not only the time that you're going to spend there, but thinking possibly uh, my opponent might have easily done it, and I might not take the same path, or... You know, maybe they didn't. It's just you, that's one of the most uncertain points in a heads-up match is what deal with Death Mountain. Yeah, Death Mountain's so convoluted; it can be basically anywhere. And right. if you're not keeping track of your caves, yeah, and it's really volatile. You can you can easily just happen to take the right cave and land right next to the Hammer Cave in the Rock, or you can spend five or ten minutes in there and get nothing. So much better fight this time around for choke. Yeah. It's Took so a couple of fireballs, when but when you're on your when you're not on your last life, it's much easier to fight bosses for some reason. Gank is in full dig shake mode, but he still has a couple things to think about. He has to make sure to get his levels. Particularly that life level, he has five bars. So he's gonna want to get probably at least two more life levels, and when you're in this situation where you have a few life bars and a lot of magic bars, the magic levels are also quite valuable. Yeah, he's got three gems left. Yeah. So we'll see how he plays this. He could do a attack six here, or attack seven here, and then um, build up the next one. I would fully expect to attack seven in this situation, three gems left, and, and still sitting on the three, four, easy enough to skip those levels. Yeah, Choke was not happy about finding that uh, little digger, but he also finds the hammer and makes his way out. Cool's just making sure he gets over that level. Yeah, he looks safe now. Yeah, the minimum for a Karak is 150, or is it 200? It's 150. Has he already located all three of the lava key rooms? That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, this is very clean floor for him. Yep. Choke seven, attack eight, attack nine. <laughs> Attack 10. Looks like Choke's going to make his way into the Valley of Death into Palace 6. Or 5. Hey, he almost got a kill on a Scorpion there. Just bounced and got like, four hits on it. Nice fairy foot from Choke. Smooth. Palace That's 6. It's a 6. Yeah. He's going to grind out this level before he dives in. And while we are at it, we got Cool going into 5. And 
And while we're at it, we have cool walking out of five. <laughs> There's been some very quick Goombas lately. I'm watching him fight him right now. He's... Like, Goomba had an excess of life, but once he got it down, it's pretty buttery. Do a little figure eight action, kind of. Yeah, now that you don't... Let's, you just hope that you get enough experience. He's looking for at least 800 here. Oh yeah. And he gets yeah. three. Yeah, but he can burn it. He can afford to lose this one. You basically have to. Yeah, he's thinking about it. No, this is the right play. Yep. And the quad split. A choke in VGT's room. Yeah, but this is the last place that the uh, cool gank will have to go to. Yeah, and then he'll be able to just up A and uh, take the, the raft almost straight to Grand Palace. So choke back up to grab the oh. the small potion. Yeah, and uh, it, it so you cross back over the threshold that spawns the unicorn heads. He gets through it in one life and finds a uh, repo. No, the pass through room. Oh, he's so low on life. I almost prefer to see the repo. I think he still has a, an extra life after this one. He's not in the worst of shapes. setting up for his encounter skips into the Valley of Death. There was only one uh, forced encounter. So yeah, it's there not, is. It's not a terrible Valley of Death to go through. Yep, this is the right decision if, you, if you're not Comfortable with the fairy feet. Just put your shield on and get through there. Well, Choke locates the Rebinac guarding the item in P6. Yeah, he doesn't have the information yet that um, the item he needs is actually in 3. Right. Or one? Or one, yeah, sorry. You're right. That's unfortunate for Choke. He was he saw that item room in one um probably fifty minutes ago or forty-five. And decided that uh he did not want to dig up the key in order to, to locate to get that item. Of course, before, you know, they had the fairy or magic key to do it easily. So it wasn't necessarily a bad judgment call, it was just, just unfortunate. Yeah, he, no, he, he could have had a very real advantage with that. He made the right call there, without fairy or the key. It was a good play to leave at the time, but... I think coming into six was a huge gamble. Mm-hmm. That's right, Data. Water and life in one, guards the thunderspell. So I think Choke's a little bit lost now. He ended up back in the loop room and back at the entrance.
Yeah. Take another turn somewhere. I think the one that gets me the most often where I think, oh, where where do, did I not... What are my choices here? And then I remember, oh, the Canadian hole. Either I jumped it or I fell in. Gotta make the other decision. Yeah, I haven't seen the fairy shoot yet or the um, the jump room. The three gap room. Yeah, we haven't seen a whole lot, really. Actually, he just wants to refill and go backward now, I think. Finds it as closest branches actually to the left. Oh, yeah. So we might have these guys in the exact same room. Yeah. Cool, it's gonna turn around. Yeah, he figured he was right next to start, he's going to up A and start all over. Oh, this is fun. So Choke's gonna jump into the next loop of the... of Palace 6, and with this particular room... So somewhere, uh, another drop is gonna lead back into that. Eventually. Not this loop. I think he got into there from the, um... The high roof drop, or high floor drop. The one that's typically right above the fairy chute. Oh, okay. This is the room here that cools and then to now. And here goes the uh, the gap room. So Reba fight for choke. Yeah, it's a good chance this leads to Barba or the um, the Canadian hole room that leads to Barba. We're getting low on options for rights. It, it can't be the... We've seen the, the room that originally has the one up in it already? Yeah, that was the, the high floor room I was talking about. Right, I didn't remember where that was seen. No, that, that was um, the other branch. Okay. So yeah, I think right past here is going to be Barba. Makes it on his first try. Oh, choke fishing for a, a jar and yeah, gets a knife right to the ankle instead. Yeah, here comes school in the gang showing what attack seven can do for you. Oh, he didn't learn his lesson. Just getting revenge on that guy this time. Well, we do get a simultaneous Barba fight though. Cool's gonna reset it. I think he stumbled a little bit, so he wants to get that uh, right side manipulation when you enter this room and if you never stop holding right until you get to the when the room locks up. Barba will always spawn on the right. So partial jackhammer. Pretty yeah. good form. And a yeah. great hit jackhammer from Cool. Yeah. Choke uh Choke's jackhammer was good too. He he was getting dangerously close to falling out of the bottom, and he managed to pull himself off and safely to the ledge. Yeah, this was 100% attack seven versus attack five, mm -hmm. where attack seven took down Barbara in about five or six hits, and attack five took almost ten. Right. Simultaneous gem placements. Old Gans can start filling up his life levels here. Probably get to life eight if he wants to. And also get, uh... That'll be it. 
Seven three eight is pretty good. How much is thunder? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, he just needs to obey here. Seventy five. so bad though so he's he's almost to grand palace i'd say it's a pretty decent entrance for all he's done oh yeah yeah ghoul's actually doing a pretty good job on the silver world too yeah Remember great navigation yeah. both of them have done quite well with the navigation i think yeah, I haven't seen spots. one of them uh, really falter. No, there's a, there was when Cool was in the Eastern Overworld there when he'd already kind of located everything and kind of was wandering around a little bit. And that was really the only thing that I noticed. So very early Thunderbird find. Most likely we'll grant him a, uh, a magic level at the end of it though. Oh yeah. Hard to say if we'll find uh, what kind of GP we'll find after this. One with loops and uh, bills and chills, or just one of those silly ones where right is Dark Link and down is everything else. Well, I think when he came in, it was a T, so we could have left is everything and right here is Dark Link. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. A magic level. Knocked eight points off the thunder spell. Now choke is in Palace One. This is this is good for him. He'll uh, he'll locate the item he needs. I don't know that. He will head back to town to find out that it's an item that he needs until after he's done P4 and 5. And I'll bring back OMG Scoots. Eon drop. And he takes it. He's going for it. <laughs> Now this is bold, He's he found one drop, but left <laughs> up from the start could be a loop. Yeah. I think it's a little bit early in the in the race to be taking this gamble. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. He has no reason, I think there's no reason for him to think that he's behind. He's really hasn't stumbled on anything besides a little bit of overworld, maybe a minute, maybe two. But he hasn't done anything like Death Mountain. So, kind of a funny choice, but it also won't impact the outcome, most likely. Uh, the, it sounds like the crowd's not happy about taking the Eon drop. <laughs> Boo from Dig Shake. Well, it would be funny if this is exactly the way to Darkling. Yeah, it's either that or a giant loop that leads back to the start, so... <laughs> Somebody's gonna be happy. Oh, but here comes another. Uh oh. <laughs> Need a size just ferry through it. We got two drop rooms left. And this is not what you wanna see. And Choke's taking that medicine right back to Mito. Yeah, smart play by him. Oh, not this room. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Cool knows that that's a jar up there or not. I would not mess with it if I were him. <laughs> Into Jackamus. So, 
the second fall, did it take him to the 7L room, or, or how yeah. did he end up going left? Okay, it was the 7L so great. Room. He must be feeling terrific about this choice now because he's just gone left, and now he comes up to a Jackmas room with a dead end on the right. <laughs> yeah, he can this come into the uh, the lower part of that L7 room. He could. That's about his best bet, or one of these up elevators into the uh, C-shaped rooms. This is this would probably be my nightmare if I were if I'd take a neon drop. Like, oh no, we'll just keep finding these rooms. Yeah, the worst will be if Dark Link really was right next to it. <laughs> he has plenty of time to burn. I don't know if he, he knows this. Yeah. Another up and left. What are the odds? Somewhere in here. Though, there does have to be a way back. There either has to be a way to the Dark Link or a way back into the rest of the dungeon. It can't just be like he dead ends right into that one up or something. But now they're left. <laughs> yeah, we could be looking at that drop going to the room right next to start as well, so that could be the loop. Yeah, that's that's exactly what could happen. I haven't been paying exactly. attention to the number of rooms he's been through yet, though. Oh man, another elevator. With another choice to go left. And this time he finds the hook around to the he's, right. He's got uh, one more of these rooms possible. Oh, I think there's... Well, I don't know. Oh. Wow. The Eon Drop Gamble. And we'll... At the moment, we... we don't know if that's the only way. No, I mean, that left of the elevator that he just took could also have been the Eon Drop room. It certainly wasn't the one up. Well, it could have been, but there, yeah, there are two lefts. Yeah. That he avoided. Well. All right. That's a finish for uh, Cool in the Gank at one hour, sixteen minutes, and seventeen seconds. Oops, I posted that early. I hate when I do that. GG. Yeah. That was a very good time. I'll see if he wants to come in. Um, I don't know if Choke wants to finish either. I looked away. Did he finish Palace 1? He did. Yep, right. he did. He took so, medicine yeah, we got three, three jars left for him. Yeah, he just has to, uh, to rush out these final palaces. Yeah, give him go ahead. He might be here any minute. So, uh, meanwhile, I think Choke's in go mode too. Yep, he sure is. This shouldn't be too much longer, and I mean, it's not a terrible time for what they had to play through. It's just Cool came across the items faster. Yeah, Cool just he had a pretty smooth run. So Karak is to the right of the uh, the lowest crumble bridge. So yeah, if he falls he'll... here, he'll be there. Yeah, if he doesn't want to do that. He's gonna no. Want to check every right, so he's just gonna, he's gonna locate a couple lava keys. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. hey. Cool. Good game. Oh uh, yeah. Well, uh, I, yeah. Thanks. I, I would. Th I did a lot more exploring than I should, probably should have. Yeah, there was that bit there where you kind of found everything, but you were exploring the eastern a little bit still. And you're... Actually, I PB'd on this, so I don't think I ever got 116 before. <laughs> yeah, I saw that gold after 5. 
didn't even pay attention to the colors, but uh, yeah, I was a little surprised because of all the um, I, I I never found the f desert tile. You you did find the desert tile. Yeah, you found it like right away. It was just a 500 bag. Oh, that's why I didn't remember it. <laughs> I know I kind of was looking for it, and I thought, nah, screw that. Okay, that's what you were looking for. We were confused. No, 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 no. I was looking for... Uh, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be in one, you know? Like, I, I'm stupid. Going to be in one. I thought uh, I was going to map out the west, and then at least I'll know where things are. I mean, even with all that extra overworld, still 116. Yeah, it, it wasn't more than a couple minutes that you really spent looking for that desert tile that uh, you'd already found. Yeah, uh, I, it, it, feel, it feels a lot longer when you're playing and you, you, you're you looking for stuff and you're like, oh my god, I'm wasting all, all this time and <clears throat> 10 minutes I can turn into 20. But uh, what was I going to say? Guy. Okay. I used to get really lost in the randomizer, so I practiced uh, like doing uh, exploring the first five caves, mm -hmm. villages, and, and and I check just how fast I can do that, and then uh, I find that it helps a lot because then it gives you like um, a bit of a head start if you can take it out, get it out of the way soon, and then I guess I practiced doing east too, so I was just in exploration mode. Yeah, I think. I think your practice paid up, you know, it showed a little bit. You might have felt like you you did some mistakes in the overworld, but overall, it was, you you had a really smooth overworld besides that one or, thing. I think I came over once, and that's really, like, means a lot to me. Yeah. Yep. First Choke. game against Air was, was probably, my feed was so choppy, but it was my best Zelda I ever played. I played my tits off on that, in that seed. <laughs> and I was so proud to come three minutes short of him, you know, like, uh, it meant a lot to me, even though I lost. Well, that's good. The air is it's really good. It's all about taking defeats into, uh, you know, like turning them into victories. And... Yeah. So choke. Um, choke was very nearly a good advantage because he got into Palace One early on while you were exploring. Still, you decided to, you know, head off to the east on your raft and. And Choke wanted to poke in P1 real quick, and he located the item room, but he decided he didn't want to dig up a key to actually get into it. Oh, no. So he ended up putting that off for quite a while. I didn't have the key? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I found the master key in the, in the P-Bag cave. Right. And The last same... P-Bag cave I explored, I think. Yeah, it was. It was right there at the end, so it just made palaces a little bit faster. I mean, you had... You were able to locate almost every important item, all but one, just out in the overworld. Um, just leaving a, a spell item behind. And a pal having to go dig that out in the palace. And, and Choke made the right decision by not, you know, not spending the time to, to pick up an item when there are so many other things to do. But it was very nearly a good advantage for him. Too bad, it, yeah. I didn't pick up the one in four because I, I didn't need it. Right. So, uh, uh, let's look at my potential matchups, right? Because I'm one in two now. Mm hmm. And I'm looking at the, the results, and uh, I don't know, it's going to be a tough one, you know, like Jake Hopper is one and two. Right. Dark Magician. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be tough. Angry Larry's one and two. And any of those guys, like, uh, they're very, I don't know, maybe same to better than me, so. Yeah. The uh, deals to get to the, the, the race, you know? So, and everybody's, the one and twos, you know, they're they're the dire situation right now. They have to win, you know? Mm-hmm. They do, and... Catching up against one and two, correct? Uh, yeah, you should be. Part, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think there might one be one person. outlier or so, but... Uh, AA is one and two, right? Like, wow. <laughs> is he? He's one and two. Wow. Yeah, and I hope I don't pick. I don't. I hope I don't uh, draw that guy. But it, it's looking like a lot of these guys are very strong players. Yes. I guess yeah. it shows you the level of the competition, you know. It does. Their the competition is very good. We have uh, 
and who else? So Vonky and Adagenos. Uh, press bulk. Uh, press bulk. Prez is one and two now. After I'll, finishing uh, his first Simple's zero and two, so he could be one and two. Yep. Yeah. And Jackamus and Ryan, who will play each other, one of them will end up one and two. This is yeah. They that's right. That's right. Yes, because my stats they are, obviously they're not uh, updated because the races that just finished today and. Yeah, so <laughs> the one and two game isn't very easy. Uh, no, nope. everybody who's one and two. Elim it's elimination, you know, elimination games. Exactly. Yeah, everybody who's one and two is already in elimination mode. We're gonna be in heavy drinking mode, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we got um, Choke fighting Guma right now. That was a very fast Palace Five, by the way. Yeah. No. I I love him when they're, they're fast. Yesterday's race is uh, also was two short pipes. Uh, I yes, caught the, the last two. I was commenting the last two races with um, with the Edigenos. Were there uh, spell items that they had in those two palace fives? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. 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 They had the, to backtrack, and it's always frustrating. Yeah, there was a Water of Life in Palace 5 that blocked, um, Thunder. Yeah, yep, Choke. This is commentating, I can't see your name in the... This Court. is Yunos. And? Dark Magician. Couldn't see your name. Yeah, of course, you were streaming. <laughs> I should've known that. <laughs> Not always, I mean, I, I would have preferred not to do commentary, but it worked out, so. Hey, you guys put on a heck of a race, and I'm glad I got to restream it for you. Oh, great. He's gonna head his way over to three, which wasn't too too long of a palace. Uh, no, if you're not looking for the item, otherwise you you got to take a left and then uh, go downstairs, which I did. Yeah. Yep. So he'll have a much faster palace three. And then great palace is right there on the raft spot. So, um, did have a question regarding your great palace, the eon drop. Was that for the meme? For the memes, or was that for? Uh... Why did I take it? Yeah. I, th I thought. It's so close to the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'll take it, and if it brings me back, then I'll go back to there and then just go, go straight. I didn't think it was going to be a big loss. So you were thinking, did you think when you headed in that you probably were ahead? In the Great Palace? Yes. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't want to take a chance because my last two races, I finished three minutes short of the yeah my opponent, you know. And yeah, so I, I mean... thought, fuck grinding, uh, you know, like fuck screwing around. It's just my stats were, you know, like seven, four, eight, and my magic was low. But I thought, mm -hmm. you know, T bird, and that's it. I'm just gonna finish it and as fast as possible because who knows how close he is, you know? Right. He's a good player. Yeah. Yeah, and so sometimes, you know, we we think of uh, the Eon drop as being, let's say, a gamble, like, you know, in the normal in a normal strategy. But sometimes if you if you enter the final, you know, dungeon of a randomizer and you think that you're way ahead, for example, it's not a gamble to take what your opponent's gamble is. It's a, it's a defensive move. You can say that. Yeah, I think that's the question. I think if, Eon if Drop near Dark Link is the worst, you know? Right. So it, you want to eliminate the possibility that, that to Dark Link. happen. Yeah. But at the same time, the room to the right of Eon Drop could have also been Dark Link. And he could have played it straight. So it's hard to tell what anybody's going to do. But yeah, that's one reason, you know, to take the Eon Drop. Yeah, you got And there was a the lot of backtracking. Game. Backtracking to the elevator room. And then again, I went up, I saw an orange uh, night and I thought it's still going uh, you know like it's still going left no I, I'm gonna go left and then hopefully it's another in the elevator room and it was 
I went up and it was those uh, turn back right junctions and then I, I was fine. I was like, uh, yeah, it was an interesting path. There were a lot of lefts and we're hoping that yeah, no, yeah. if Choke plays this straight that uh, we'll see if there was a different path to Dark Link. His left also. Yeah, so he's entering the Great Palace now. Yeah, and he's he has a couple gold splits of his own. This is just one of those where you find so much in the overworld that you can kind of just blast through palaces. For sure, if you if you do one the way you're supposed to do it, and mm -hmm. uh, and you know the last thing you want to do is underestimate your opponent uh, when you're zero two, because yeah. uh, everybody's zero two, you know, and right. Yeah, well, well, that's what I'm hoping for, Locke. To, if Choke skips the Eon drop, we'll get to see what was to the right. Yeah, if we end up on, the, just... on that elevator room that was right next to Dark Link, that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, no, not the big, it couldn't be the big Yeah, if it's, oh, that's right, huh? That but could the, be one hell of a loop. Yeah, but the the real thing is that um, if, you know, uh, Cool came in from left, and he found the one elevator room, and then poked up, saw that that elevator went left, so he went back down. Get. Next yeah. one looked up, and it went right, so he took down. But if you come from the left side, um, in those elevator rooms, you might just decide to go right, right, and not even look up those elevators. Right, so right. He, he can and have then a very you'll end up in a. It's going to be a dead end. It's only two screens, and then I think it's uh, the, the dead end drop from. Uh... Yeah, and so then you, you might turn around, but. Yeah. yeah, it's not a big turnaround. I'd like to, I'd like to see what's gonna happen. Fun. We'll uh, did you, did you ever map it out on uh, on paper? It's... Like yeah, I know a lot time. of players that do that. The, um, I think uh, Prez does it. He has a sheet scrap yeah. of paper that he writes everything down on. And aces or tournaments, but when I play a seat casually, and I like the randomizer, I like to play it casually, you know, and I like I like to map six, but I like to map Great Palace, it's so much fun and I like to try to make it look nice on paper too, it's like it's so hard because there's so many loops and, you know and I, I keep <laughs> telling Dig, it's a thing of, it's really one of the most beautiful aspects of the randomizer, the way that the Great Palace is laid out it's a thing of, uh, of chaos, really you know, like it's <laughs> when it you is. finish Great Palace, you should <gasps> inverted Great Palace, like in Castlevania, and then but I, I inverted the whole map, and I saw that what? the... <gasps> oh? Uh -huh. No, no, no! no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not even watching that. Uh, yeah, so he, so he went past the... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he, he did exactly what we were just talking about, where he went right at the Eon, and he's in yeah. the elevators now. He's He just looked up the elevator to Dark Link, and then he turned around. He looked at it for a good five, ten seconds. Uh, so he's gonna look up the next uh, one. <laughs> he's gonna see the left. So at least he has that information. Out of those two elevators, you know he's gonna take the right. Right? Yeah, it was this drop room. It wasn't a, uh... It wasn't the L7 one. This one's the other one, isn't it? This the is room it, he's in right now? Oh no, this is an elevator room. This okay. is an elevator down. He's got to go down this elevator. He's going to go through the chicken and waffle room, uh, and then find that L seven dead end. Okay, I thought the last drop was, or yeah, the last drop was the other drop. Yeah, he's going the other way uh, that I that I, yeah. I did. Yeah, and this is exactly what I, I said would probably happen. Is you'd probably just take the rights instead of actually going up that elevator, so just the way the sea uh, <laughs> just like throws the room, the order that it throws rooms at you will dictate what your route might be. Um, I think that taking that sea room right away isn't necessarily a bad move. It's just slightly less efficient than like going right and uh, going back down and right. Yeah, if you're already up there. Gonna hit a dead end? No. Yeah, so Jack miss room. Yeah, double dead ends. This one's gonna be the block room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No one goes. We're gonna go check out the top because it's easier. Mm-hmm. It was uh. <laughs> it 
it was funny watching because you know when you took the eon drops we were like oh so you know we just obviously it, it was the difference between your guys times was so big that we we were you know like well it's not we're gonna change the outcome of the race but yeah might have been a game changer it but we did we were interested to see like how bad of a mind game it would play on you because when you take the eon drop and you find nothing but lefts it's it's like oh no i've made a terrible all mistake. right please <laughs> yeah and here he's finding the dead end. Yeah, it, it I tried to see here. these uh, the elevator rooms. I tried to find all four of them, you know, and try. I, I keep track of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I look up an elevator room because I want to know which one it is, and I can tell by the way it connects, or if I can't tell by the enemies that are in it. Well, yeah, that's a very good move. I mean, one of the first times I played the randomizer, I got so lost, and I kept going back in the same elevator room and so that's why poking my head up is it always helps me to say oh okay this is the first one it's the second one oh i'm i back I, I went back here they always loop yeah it really only takes maybe three or four seconds to poke your head up in one of those elevators and it makes a big difference it really orients you and seven I'd just like to point out that our audience was very excited to find out that that was the way to Dark Link. Oh, really? <laughs> One person <laughs> in particular in our audience. Choke with the backtrack, he's gonna... I w would think he's gonna go to the second elevator from here, but... We'll see. Oh, yeah. Does Choke play any other, uh, maybe, all keys, or does he play the Zelda 1 randomizer? Not uh, that I know of, I think he's new in general. He's been a... he's watched a lot. But I think yeah, he's just I now picking it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've had a lot of those in this tournament. Lots of people who just now picked up the randomizer. And, I mean, everybody's skill level is quite amazing, given that. There's no easy uh, opponent, that's for sure. No, this tournament's shown you that. Zelda 1 randomizer. Yeah, I remember uh, Choke would, I think he would uh, hang out in Jammy's chat sometimes. So Jammy, he'd definitely watch Jam play some Z1 rando and Z2 rando. So, Choke finishes with a time of 137.06. He had... He himself had a pretty good run, but it was hard to it was gonna be hard to keep up with the kind of run that Cool had. Let's see if he wants to come in here. Alright, we'll have Choke in here in just a moment. How you guys doing? Hey, Choke. <laughs> hey, Choke. Good game. Yeah, I can't be too angry. I uh, I guess obviously it could have been a lot faster, but that's still technically uh, the fastest I've ever run one of these. So what do you do? Yeah. Me, by the way, and so good game. And, uh, you know, we both it looks like we both messed up getting the item in one. Yeah. You know, it's, it's probably my own fault. Like, instead of trying to fight it and, like, Wasted a bunch. Of, I guess it wouldn't have been waste, but like my thought process was, this game's going to give you a key or fairy before you have to go get anything out of the out of the palaces, right? So I'm like, I'm not going to waste time chasing keys for this item, maybe when there's so many other items and we have the raft. Um, but it would have saved a bunch of time for sure. I think you judged it correctly, though. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't think I. You know, I don't think it, for me, and I'm, you know, I'm not talking in the grand scheme of, you know, you pros and stuff, but for me, I thought I 
ran it fairly efficiently for my skill level and thought process. I don't think I did anything that was too obnoxious. No. You know? Cool had a yeah. really good time, man. 116 is great. GG. Uh, thanks. Uh, you too. I think now that I think about it, I think I might have gone to. If I had to play it again, I would go in three, which was right next to the rough spot, and then mine the keys, you know? Yeah. See, and I, I'm not quite. I don't. You know, this was like my 12th run. I don't have enough knowledge yet to think through that sort of thing yet. Yeah, in this case, going into three. I don't remember. Did you pass through the the room with the keys in the floor or not? On their way to to uh, Rebo. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think, I think that they were downstairs. But three is not a big palace. And no, you, you can get the item at the same time. You know. Yep. Yeah. No, you didn't make so the I, wrong I call on that choke. That. Um, you, there was no reason to think that necessarily the P one was going to have such an important item, and it really didn't give you such a disadvantage not to get it. I think the the main things that that mm-hmm. slowed you down. Uh, you know, Hammer Cave didn't pay off for you. Um, uh, and I died in two. That ate up probably five minutes easy right there. Yeah, that was an unfortunate death. Both of you had a, a scare in that room where you downstab, you jumped in, and then landing on the other side of your jump, downstab the block. Uh, the difference was that you were, you were uh, already on very low level. Yeah. These blocks, I hate yeah. them with a passion. <laughs> I always ferry out if I can. That was a shoot, good show. I'm yeah. glad we uh, I'm glad we didn't eat up three hours you guys this evening, you know? Oh, you, it was a good run. And yeah, right yeah, at the end there. That's a little too trolly, you know? Your, your finish choke did give us something interesting to look forward to in the Grand Palace. Cool in the gank. Took the Eon drop without looking right. Did he? He did. And did it took him, so... Did it, so did, what did, which drop did it take him to? The seven, the dead end that you turned around at, the seven L room. Really? So yes. it really didn't save any time. He just worked. Well, yeah, I guess he didn't go back and forth. He just went. It backwards. went through the he, palace backwards, like you did, uh, yeah. as opposed to what you did. He, yeah. There were more rooms than that. The the eon drop led to another set of rooms, which led to another drop that led there. So there are some rooms involved for sure. But so he lands in the eon drop right after not looking right, which could have just been dark link, and so. After landing, he takes a series of lefts because those were the only choices that were given to him. So it was just really funny, and, and we wanted to know what was right of the Eon drop. That's kind of fun, <laughs> actually. They go and loop. they both get yeah. you there. <laughs> and then, yeah, so you came out of the Eon drop, and we knew what we were looking for. We were looking for those two elevators right next to each other. And you poked your head up in the first one, and you saw that room that, that hooks off to the right from the elevator. And we were very excited. And we hope that you would just jump right in it and just go. <laughs> you look at I, it. <laughs> I sometimes, I don't know. I don't, you know, I guess it just decides your own personal mate. You you go always up and right or down and right first. And uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I almost went that way too. And then I was like, no, I'm just going to stick with what I usually do. But, you know, I mean, that's the fun of the rando. It could have easily yeah. been the other way half the time. So Right. <laughs> No, so it was it was entertaining. It was very entertaining. Good. <laughs> Appreciate you guys jumping and doing the, the restream for us. Uh, I want to. Although shoot, Cool's gonna start throwing down seventy six minute runs. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> cool had a lot harder. Uh, and this is nothing against my opponents. You know, I didn't put up a good fight, but Cool had I think tougher competition coming through the first couple rounds than I did. Yeah, the error was my first. And uh, he, but he hadn't played the I don't think the randomizer, so I thought. He, and then, but he's never rusty, you know. He well, always his combat skills are pretty he, impressive. Yeah. So. Oh, did he's you guys see like the? Up. You guys see the fakey yak hammer from the noob? What's up? <laughs> see what now? <laughs> the, the fakey yak hammer in six. Did you guys see that? Oh, that was great, man. You're up there on the doing the yak camera with attack five, and you and Cool were in the same room at the same time. Uh, the, so was he was Barba? fighting Barba. Yeah, Bar- fighting Barba with, and you had attack seven. Choke had attack five, and and uh, so Choke probably started the fight a little bit sooner. And he got up there, and he had that jack hammer. You want to tell us about it, Choke? Uh, I, you know, uh, I don't know who was asking. BGT, I think, was asking in uh, Discord for the boss rush which i had never played with 
And so, if my boss is listening, this is all a joke, and I don't mean any of it. If he's not listening, I was playing today at work and nice. practicing. I played the boss rush, and I mostly just did um, five and six. I just put a save strat on him. Save state and was a uh, played for probably 10, 15 minutes on each one. So maybe my strats improved a tiny bit in six. They're no better than they were before in five, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the timing down. Yeah, you you got up there on and on Barbara, and you were yak hammering, and you were just so close to falling out. Like you were at the bottom of the hit box of, of Barbara's head, and and just like barely hanging on. And then you finally dismounted just in time, I think, before falling, and, and managed to land on the platform still, which was really cool. <laughs> yeah. It- it was kind of fun. I was like, oh, do I go for this when people are watching? But I was like, yeah, this is what we practice. Yeah, and I was, yeah. you know. <laughs> thing to do it in in you know, in practice, but it's another thing to do it in a, a race, you know, because it's a, there's more at stake. But if you pull it off, you feel really good. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of excited. I was like, all right, I got jump. I just need to get here um, with more. Because if I was on my last life, I wasn't going to do it, you know? So <laughs> I, I went in the room and I thought, Ah uh, no, I wanted to get him on the you know because if you walk straight, you can you know where he's gonna spawn, mm-hmm. right? So I thought, oh no no, I just found out that I can control his spawning by going walking straight. So I went back and then re-entered the room to get him spawning at the right place because I wanted to jackhammer him. I thought, I'm gonna show I want to show the nice people in chat what I can do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, cool. You're you're going to one and two. You get one more chance. You get well. You get one more chance to get a win and, and make chances. it to the playing game. And uh, in order to play into the the bracket stage, choke. Unfortunately, you know you're you have one more match to play, which hopefully will be a lot of fun for you. Ah, uh, this is all just here for fun. This is this has been a really, really good tournament. I know everybody's talking about the way they did the brackets in this one. Mm-hmm. There's been some amazing races all through every one of the rounds so far. It's pretty. It's been a pretty fun, yeah, tourney so it, far. So it really has. And we still have a big race. I mean, you know, Dig, race, yeah. Dig, Dig, and Joshy D have, have hyped this race up pretty good, <laughs> and I'm pretty excited for it too. So, yep, <laughs> yeah. Potential one, two opponents, and it's not looking really good. Uh, choke! I'll be joining you very soon. You know, I look forward to a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think that's all the races we have for tonight. Yeah, and I don't think there's any races tomorrow, or I could be wrong. Uh, no, there's a there's two races now. Uh, oh, okay. I think scheduled just today. Uh, we got Jackamus versus Ryan Seven, and that's at um, I don't do clocks very well. 8 o'clock Eastern on Raikou Players channel. Um, and then there's going to be a match for uh, Shiner versus uh, Raikou Rider that doesn't have a restream yet. And yeah. that one's at uh, 8.30 Eastern. Awesome. Yep. Well, GG again, cool. Thanks for uh, the restream, yeah, guys. Uh, great race, uh, uh, choke i'll see you around and uh, thanks a lot for streaming uh, dark magician right yeah no problem and yeah, thanks to both of you guys really appreciate it yeah gg yeah good game Bye-bye. all right that's going to do it for us tonight um like i said there's two matches coming up tomorrow uh one of them doesn't have a restream yet but i'm sure it'll come up uh keep an eye out on the discord channel on the spreadsheet and on the typical channels that host these uh adeginos angry larry nirm Dig Shake and Raikou, Raikou Player, um, although he's already doing one, so he won't have this the second one. Um, but other than that, that's it for us tonight. Thanks for joining me, Yunus. Yep. Thanks for having me. Uh, everybody else, you have a great night. <laughs>